Okay, in this example, we're going to have a look at how we can take a single large force, such as this force of tension here, and resolve it into smaller horizontal and vertical components. So in this question, we've got a single force of tension in this cable of 2000 newtons, and we're told that it is making an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. And then we need to use a scale diagram or a vector diagram to break it down into its components. So the most important thing to do when starting a question like this is to try and make sure we can use a suitably large scale. We've got a really large force here of 2000 newtons, so if we can get that to spread across the majority of the page, that'd be really, really useful for us. So if we can pick a scale such as one centimeter is equal to 100 newtons, then we can get a line of 20 centimeters to represent our tension force, which should be large enough to get a good and accurate answer. So when drawing the diagram, first thing I'm going to do is draw a horizontal line across my page. And this is just going to be for reference. So I can measure the angles and take measurements of the other lines as well. So I could draw this as long as I can across my page. Like that. And over here on the left, I'm just going to put a little cross. And that's just for me to make a reference for measuring the angle of 20 degrees. The next thing, get my angle measurer, line that up with my cross and my line, and carefully mark on my angle of 20 degrees, and just put a dot there. So I can now draw a line from this point through that point, and that will be at 20 degrees to the horizontal line. So my scale is one centimeter is 100 newtons. So my line that represents that tension force of 2000 newtons will be 20 centimeters long. Now I can just about fit that onto my page. So let's draw that, so it's 20 centimeters there. Draw that through. And that is my tension force. And I can just put an arrow on that, label that T equals 2000 newtons. So I need to now resolve that into a horizontal component and a vertical component. Now, of course, those components have their origin here, but it's easier for me to draw my horizontal component this way and then find the vertical component by completing the third side on that triangle. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to draw a vertical line and that vertical line is going to be at right angles with this black horizontal line that I've drawn and it's going to match up and meet the top corner of that red line. There we go. And that green line there represents the vertical component of my force. And that black line now can represent, on the length of the black line, can represent a horizontal component of the force. And to find out their magnitude, all I need to do now is just measure them with my ruler. So my vertical component has a length of 6.8 centimeters. And my horizontal component has got a length of 18.7 centimetres. So now just using my scale to work out the actual magnitude, horizontal component 18.7 centimetres, I've got a scale of one centimeter equals 100 newtons. So I need to multiply this by 100. So my magnitude for the horizontal component is 1,870 newtons. And the magnitude of the vertical component, well, the length is 6.8 centimeters. Multiply that by 100, gives me 680 newtons. And a quick check that these components are smaller than the magnitude of the, of the original force which of course must always be if you are resolving a single force into perpendicular components. So that's how we use a scale diagram to resolve a single force.